Hello and welcome back. If you're new, I'm MJ and this is One Green Voice where we talk about everything to do with eco-friendly lifestyle. Filming this very quick video with some very, very last minute Mother's Day gifts. Yes, it's a retail holiday, but that doesn't mean it's not a great reason to celebrate the women in your life. First on my list is anything from the Truth Beauty Company. I've talked about Truth Beauty before and they have so many wonderful options for gifts. First on my list today are brow products. This is the Brow Lux pencil, which is fantastic. Ah, stuck in there. It's um, a roll up pencil and it's soft so you can make little, little feathery strokes. And on the other end is a brush, also both very nicely protected. That one and the Kosas or Kosas Air Brow. I'm gonna sound like an old hairspray commercial, but this stuff is amazing. It holds, it tints, but it's not sticky and yucky. So I am absolutely obsessed with this, wearing both products now and couldn't be happier with them. I've become obsessed with eyebrows lately and realized, it's pretty taken me a while to realize this, but I way over plucked my eyebrows when I was younger. And I'm now in the process of trying a natural product which is supposed to make your hair thicker and your eyebrows grow in. So I'm one month into this experiment and if it works I will certainly let you know but in the meantime these two products are really helping a lot. Another fantastic product I have from Truth Beauty is called Skin Food and it's a butter that smells like chocolate and it's got coconut oil and cocoa butter, beeswax and vanilla beans. It is just delicious. I don't eat it but I would like to. Um, actually, I don't know if they have it in stock right now, so I have another couple of options for you. First is Body Whip Original by Cure Apothecary. Similar ingredients to the skin food, but is whipped versus the body butter. And finally, Illuminate by Wildcraft features calendula and aloe vera in another whipped textured cream that targets dryness, inflammation, and irritation. Okay, second on the list is anything by the company called Biosance. In Canada, you can only get it at Sephora but you can also order it through the website at biosance.com. I will put all the links to everything down below, including this one. I had a very big birthday last November, and it's got a six and a zero in it, but I'm not telling you how old I am. And I decided, okay, dude, it's finally time to get serious about your skincare, and ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Biosance because it is 100% approved by the Environmental Working Group. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they have this database called Skin Deep and if you ever want to know if a product is healthy or not healthy or what's in it they they rank and rate thousands of products and ingredients it's the best place to go and they have a very high opinion of Biosans and now so do I for whatever that's worth. The main ingredient in the Biosans products is something called squalene and it used to come from shark liver I know gross but now Biosans has developed squalene that comes from sugarcane and it is so moisturizing. These products are so beautiful. They have a very light or no scent, which is really important to me because I can't stand perfume. It's also, I'm sorry to be the bearer, but it's also very unhealthy. Everything I've ordered from Biosance has been fantastic. I can't say enough good things about them. These are two sample products. This is a toner and this is a, a rose oil that's got vitamin C and squalene oil in it. Even the sample products are great because they last so long you really get a sense of if the product's working for you because this this little bottle I'm on my second one since November like it lasted three months uh, This one did not last that long, but it was at least six weeks So that's you know, that's really for what they're charging you It's a really good chance to, to see if you like the product. I just got this product in the mail It's pure squalene oil and I got it because I'm trying to find something to take the frizz out of my hair I found so many quote-unquote clean products, but then they have this terrible strong smell and I just can't wear them because all I do all day is smell my hair. And this one is really neat. This, it's got this little plastic thing, I know, post-consumer plastic, it's recycled, um, that keeps the pump from going down so you can actually transport it if you had to, but I just thought that was really cool. Tried it today on my hair and it feels really nice going on. You can also use it in skin. And I just have so many here, I don't even wanna go through them all with you, but this is a, a phytoretinol, which is not normal retinol. It, it will not, um, it works great for lines and wrinkles and aging, but it's not harsh at all on the skin. It's not the regular retinol. Another one that I'm loving and just got my son onto this, and he has teenage skin, is a glycolic renewal mask. 
cleans everything out. It's amazing. And oops, another new one I just got is the squalene and zinc sheer mineral. It's an SPF if you're into wearing it every day, which I am now firmly committed to doing. This, I've tried many, actually, um, Truth Beauty has a really nice one too called Salt and Stone, which is a 45 SPF. And it goes on well and it hides and it will go under makeup. Um, so that's, that's one good option, but this one is ridiculous. It goes on like a moisturizer. You don't even know you've got sunscreen on your face. Now it's a 30, so if having something higher than a 30 is important to you, then I would say go with a Salt and Stone. And I would say that's a good product anyway, but this one, I just had to try it because all of their other things are so good and it's, like I said, it's ridiculous. You don't even need a moisturizer when you put it on. And it's under my makeup and it, it just helps it go on better. So anything by Biosance. The next couple of items are from Etsy and I found a whole bunch since my last video. Um, so we're gonna start with hats. I don't know about you, but again, taking care of my skin, keeping the sun off my face, I'm getting more and more into hats and whether sometimes it's a ball cap, but recently I found this really cool shop on Etsy. It's called Stitched by Granny and she makes beautiful bucket hats. And I have two here. Um, this because I love purple, as you can see by my glasses. This is one. And then I got this other one from her for more denim -y type outfits. So I'm looking styling on the, on the walking trail. The hats are made beautifully. You can wear them inside out. They're reversible. So now I've got a totally denim hat, denim looking, it's not denim. It, they're all cotton, everything is cotton. In terms of sizing, um, both of these hats are size 22. My head measures 22 inches around. I did wash this one and it needs to be stretched out again. So what I would suggest if you're not sure about sizing is talk to Catherine who owns, who owns the shop and makes the hats herself. Yeah, because I would now go with a medium if I was going to get another one. I think I'm good with two for now, but if I was going to get another one, I would go with a medium because I want to be able to wash it and not worry. Um, as I said, this one still fits me, but the one I haven't washed fits better. So I would just keep that in mind if you're ordering. Actually now, because when I was putting my items together for the video, I realized that my, all my hankies were in the wash. I've been using these for a couple of months now. They're absolutely lovely, organic cotton flannel. They're so soft. And here they're 10 by 10. They go in the bio bin when you're finished with them. And they're made by a 14 year old girl named Jory from British Columbia, Canada. And one side is just the plain cotton and the other side has got this pocket sewn onto it. With the idea being that you can fold up the hanky when you're finished with it and put it in the pocket, keep your, your pockets clean or your handbag or wherever you're putting it. I don't actually do that. But I do decide at the beginning which side of the hanky I'm going to use and then the pocket lets me know and then I can just fold it up appropriately. Highly, highly recommend these. When I do my Christmas bags this year, I'm going to do a bulk order from her and give everyone one because I don't know about you, but I've always, got a, always had a tissue and now I just have these beautiful, soft, soft cotton handkerchiefs. Next on the list is this amazing moisturizing shampoo bar. That's right, no more plastic bottles for your shampoo. Can't help you yet with your conditioner, but shampoo, definitely. I've been using this for a little over a year. I've got my son using it. It's amazing and moisturizing, and it's, got, it's called Queen Bee or La Reine Abeille. So it's, it's bee, so it's honey, and it is just the most very, very light scent. It mostly smells like honey and soap. I can't go without a moisturizer because I have extremely dry hair, but you might get away with it. I gave these out in my little Christmas baskets this year and a couple of people called me back to find out how to order it because they really, really liked it. And finally, what we have here are panty liners. Yes, I finally had to give up. I couldn't deal with throwing them out every morning. I couldn't do it anymore. So went on Etsy and found I ordered two different ones. I didn't know anything about them. I didn't know how they were gonna work and I figured I'm gonna like one or the other and as usual, I couldn't decide so now I'm living with five of each and they're both terrific. This one is from a shop called Eco Adorable and it's bamboo and hemp. Now she's got different configurations with different fabrics. They're all all natural. There is no waterproof um, component to these. So take that into account. They're not for a full-blown period. You, you can't use them instead of a maxi pad. They are panty liners. You could probably use them with a cup or with a tampon, but um, 
they are definitely panty liners. Celeste is the owner of the shop and she was very helpful and, and when I told her what my needs were, she was able to recommend the type of pad. And this is also the seven inch, which is a standard size, but they come, I think between five and eight inches? Yes, five and eight inches in length. So whatever you need, but the seven is great. Pretty standard. And, oh, so I should show you, they both have the same, so they wrap around and then they have a, um, Maybe I'll film this up close. And then they have a snap, which you could hear. Very secure. I thought they might move up and down, but they don't. Um, they kind of scrunch your underwear, and then you still have a nice solid base, so it works great. They're, they're similar in that sense. And this pad is made by Sewn by Dawn. Dawn is an off-the-grid mom. All of the fabrication is Ecotex, so there are no harmful substances in it. This is the part that goes next to your skin. And this is linen, and there's also bamboo and a PUL layer, which is food grade because it's made of rene renewable resources. Um, the main difference, again, it wraps around and snaps nice and loud. There you go. The real main difference between these two panty liners is that the snaps work really well. Um, Dawn's and Celeste's, one is one is a little more, <laughs> a little more structured. And that's really the only difference. Um, again, I, this, while more structured, it is still a panty liner and not a pad. So you don't wear it alone. Um, but again, I would just message Dawn and she'll let you know, it, you know, if it'll work for your needs. Both ladies have kindly agreed to give us a 10% discount and I will link everything down below, all the shops, all the discount codes. I hope this helps you if you're in a pinch at the last minute for Mother's Day. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.